Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is how I beat Night Watcher Morale with two pets in order to level a third one. Morale is a master tamer found here at Asuna and Legion, and she's available to fight whenever her world quest, Training with the Night Watchers, pops up. In my first slot, I have my Nexus Whelpling with Tail Sweep, Seer Magic, and Arcane Storm. In my second slot, I have a Pygmy Cow with Stampede, Mother's Milk, and Where's the Beef? If you don't have a Pygmy Cow, you can make do with a Fawn pet using Stampede, Nature's Ward, and Bleat, but it does get a bit tighter. For my leveling pet, I brought a Stormborn Whelpling. This team does a lot of cleave, so bring a higher level pet with at least 800 health to be safe. Alright, so make sure that you have your Safari hat on if you've got one of those. And we will get started with our Nexus Whelpling in the top slot. So against the Breezy Book, you want to Tail Sweep three times. That is going to take down the Breezy Book, assuming that you have a somewhat attack pre Nexus Whelpling. I don't think you need to have the max attack breed like I have, but it certainly doesn't hurt. So you Tail Sweep three times, and that'll bring down the Breezy Book. He has applied Doom to you. I know it's very tempting to see your magic that off right away, but don't worry about it. It's not. It's going to be okay. So the Helpful Spirit comes out, and then you're going to Arcane Storm, and then see your magic. So Arcane Storm is going to do some backline damage to the Moth, do a little bit of damage to the Spirit, uh, change the weather, which is always nice, and then he actually reapplies the Curse of Doom, and then you take it off, and then we're going to switch to the Pygmy Cow or the Fawn if you happen to have brought a Deer Pet. So Pygmy Cow comes out. I'm going to use Mother's Milk to kind of heal up my backline pets. Both the Helpful Spirit and the Breezy Book were AoEing down the backline pets, so having a heal like this is really helpful. Uh, and then I'm going to use Where's the Beef kind of on cooldown just to sort of mitigate some damage, and then Stampede to fill in with some damage against the Helpful Spirit with some strong critter hits. So there we go. And then you just want to kind of, with the Pygmy Cow, just keep using Mother's Milk, keep using Where's the Beef on cooldown. He's going to reapply Curse of Doom, and you want to make sure that you have your Where's the Beef for either the application of Curse of Doom or the explosion. It doesn't matter which, but either way, you don't want to eat that Curse of Doom hit. Uh, that's going to take your cow down faster than you would like, and we want him around to tank for quite a while here. So unfortunately, Mother's Milk doesn't heal you. That seems a little unfair, but I guess that's just life as a, uh, as a cow. So I'm applying my Where's the Beef now because that's going to be up um, in one round here when the Curse of Doom explodes, and we don't need to be taking that hit. So Helpful Spirit is almost down. There we go, we dodge the Curse of Doom, and then just continue stampeding. So if you have brought a fawn pet, like the gazelle fawn, um, the tiny fawn, you know, whatever kind of fawn you've got, you want to be using Nature's Ward to continue healing, keep that up, use Bleat on cooldown, and then fill in with Stampede in a similar manner. Uh, the cow's just a little bit, a little tankier. Uh, here we go. So the Delicate Moth is going to come out. He's going to try and ruin your day with, like, some sleeps and an interrupt, um, which is basically functions like a stun with counterspell. Uh, but because I'm a critter on the pygmy cow, I'm not really affected by any of that. So you can see the critter Rachel kicking in there. You want to use Mother's Milk to top your backline pets up as much as you can. And then I managed to get a Where's the Beef off. So I have one round of dodging to stampede him a little bit. And it's really nice if you can get that stampede off just because I've now applied that two rounds of extra damage to him. But it doesn't matter if you don't. Once your pygmy cow dies, bring your leveling pet in like I just did. And then switch out immediately for your Nexus Whelpling. You want to cast Arcane Storm and then fill in with Tail Sweep. So the next Delicate Moth, uh, he likes to he likes to put you to sleep, he likes to stun you, and I actually had both things happen to me just there. And that kind of sucks, but that's okay. Um, Arcane Storm will prevent that from happening in the future. And we have enough health because of all that Mother's Milk healing that we did on the Pygmy Cow that it's okay for us to take some damage. And we're taking weak damage from his uh, Slicing Wind, so we're all good. And down he goes. And that's how I do it. I'll be putting together family-specific teams towards the family familiar achievement as time goes on, so keep an eye out for those. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!